Hey, what's up, everybody? Steve Breach coming to you live from the GoHastings.com Wrestle Center. Um, just wanted to uh, check up with you to let everybody know that um, from my SummerSlam uh, wrap-up video where I showed off all the figures that I got signed and everything I picked up from SummerSlam, I showed off a cup that I picked up for uh, WWE Punk Fan 19, a uh, good guy who happens to live in my neighborhood, and uh, I, I was able to drop that cup off. I actually got to meet him for the first time, real good guy. Uh, if you haven't uh, checked him out, uh, WWE Punk Fan 19 uh, makes great uh, great videos uh, on WWE and other other sorts of wrestling. He's really thinking about going into more of an indie based uh, wrestling channel. So if that's your uh, cup of tea, uh, go on over and check him out. Uh, real good guy. Uh, for this video, uh, mainly I was going to be uh, dealing with uh, next year's WrestleMania. Last night, the negotiations came to an end. It seems that Stevie Breach is going to be going to WrestleMania. I was able to work it out. Uh, with Mrs. B in the house there, the wife, and the NWO belts down, Luke Cage 29 is going to love that. Got to figure out some way to get this thing uh, taken care of at the Wrestle Center. Go Hastings, give me some more money, this place is falling apart. Um, but uh, yeah, so it seems that uh, she's going to give me the okay, head out to Wrestlemania. Um, so uh, lo lo looking to be like a, a real hell of a weekend. Uh, I'm real excited to, to, to get everything together. Uh, just a tip for anybody out there that is thinking about picking up a package if you haven't done it yet, uh, you're screwed. Uh, the bronze packages and the platinum packages are all sold out. The only things left that are um, uh, left for sale are the gold packages where you get the, uh, the seats in the 100s and your hotel's a mile away from the, uh, the arena there. Um, uh, those are $1,400 a person, and it gets cheaper the more people you add to your package that stay in your hotel room. Um, but I was actually thinking about getting one of those, but I don't really feel like paying almost uh, $900 uh, to stay in the uh, the hotel there, so I'm going to try to find uh, my ways to get there uh, cheaper. i got a lot of friends in Atlanta, uh, so I'm going to be hooking up with some people out there and um, find, it, find another, another place to stay. Um, uh, the one thing that always goes to WrestleMania is going to be the Hall of Fame. Um, everybody knows the Hall of Fame is always a big deal. Uh, a lot of people said the last year's class was a little bit of a step down, and as we move uh, no closer and closer, you know, into the future, the classes are going to get weaker and weaker. It seems like they, you know, they they put too many guys in too fast. But um, I'm looking for this class to be a real good class. I think uh, everybody knows with the uh, the Macho Man, the WWE, and the Mattel. Uh, deal from Comic Con. I think he, uh, you know, pretty much let the cat out of the bag by saying that uh, 2011 was going to be a big year for the Macho Man. I think everybody knows that he's not talking about his new figure that's coming out in March. I think they're going to tie that up, and uh, as well as uh, releasing his figure uh, from Mattel, that's going to be available in all your local stores. I think he's going to be going in the Hall of Fame. I think he's going to be your headliner. I think he's going to be the guy that you know is on the poster, on the tickets, on the DVD. Uh, the one that you're really paying to see. Um, um, I think the, the, the Macho Man was a great wrestler. I think if you look back at the, in the golden days of, of wrestling with Hogan, I think the year that Hogan took off, Macho Man was able to pick up the ball and really carry it, uh, you know, handle the load. Um, you look at the Mega Powers gimmick where he was face and then he turned heel, which led to the big WrestleMania five. Uh, one of the, the you know, one of the best pay per views of all time, I think. Uh, Great, great build up. One of the, you know, it shows that, that they really built that angle for two years, and everybody bit into it. Nobody got tired of it at all. Uh, and uh, just, just the way that the Macho Man and Hogan collided, and he had Miss Elizabeth in there. Uh, he's, he's a great, uh, great uh, wrestler from back in the day, and uh, you know, it's giving an honor to see him go in the Hall of Fame. Um, I'm really hoping to get tickets to that Hall of Fame is always a, a, a hot ticket to get. So I think if, if he's on that ticket, I'm making sure I'm in there. Um, then a lot of talk about uh, you know your semi main eventer that's going to go in. I think a lot of people have been pointing at Goldberg because it's WCW country of Atlanta, his hometown. Of course, he's going to get a pop. Um, Goldberg goes in. I think that's going to be good. Um, and then you got to fill in the rest of the card. Um, you know, everybody's like. Uh, you, you, you know, you sort of got to have your, your chick that goes in. I think you want to save Trish Stratus. I think there's rumors of uh, one of the next WrestleManias being in Toronto. I think it would be good to save her for her own hometown. Uh, no real, uh, you know, chicks jump out at me that are real uh, Hall of Famers, but, you know, they'll find one. They're going to have a Japanese person. It would be nice to see the, uh, the great mood go in. Uh, I honestly don't really know what his WWE, you know, 
feelings are towards uh, one another. Uh, I don't think they've ever really worked together. Uh, but when Ultimate Dragon was here, that really didn't work out well, but I don't think it ended bad. But I think that would give, uh, you know, the Greek leader would be a good name for bringing uh, some Japanese people over uh, and give, give a lot of good press to the WWE. A lot of talk from last year's uh, WrestleMania was that's why Yoshitatsu was, was put in because the, uh, the Japanese press were, were already here. Or for the Hall of Fame, and it kept them in town and gave them a good story to write about the next day, which put over WWE, which is really trying hard to get into Japan. So I think that's a good, good deal to make sure you have a Japanese wrestler in there every year. Uh, you know, good press is always good press. Now here we go. Uh, who's going to be the Coco Beware of the Year? Which I like to call, you know, the, the, the Jobber Award, the, the Jobber that they put in. It seems like they, they have one lower class wrestler that they put in, and I think this tag team that I'm going to say. It, I'm not trying to get heat, I'm not trying to make people laugh, but I think that, that their contributions to wrestling, they were in the WBF for a long time, uh, they jobbed to everybody, but everybody loved this tag team, I don't care if you watch wrestling or you barely watch wrestling, you didn't watch wrestling at all, you knew who this tag team was, uh, they were on TV, I'm sure the WBF sent them out to all the hospitals or every town they went to to go meet the sick kids. Um, everybody loved these guys. They were they were the biggest baby faces in America, and if you trace them back to their roots, they were the biggest heels. They were the most extreme wrestlers uh, from New Zealand. Uh, I'm talking about the Bushwhackers, I'm talking about Butch and Luke. Uh, those guys were so over. They barely did anything in the ring. Um, they got beat up all the time. But but just because of how much they were loved, I think that it'd be. A, a good response for everybody. I'm saying put the Bushwhackers in the Hall of Fame. What, well, what, what could what could go wrong? I think they'd be a, you know they'd, they'd be able to get a good pop from the crowd when you bring them out for WrestleMania the next day. Everybody loves those guys. Hell, they were on Family Matters. They battled you know the Winslows and Urkel. Uh, you know, great guys. Uh, let me know what you think. I think that the uh, you know the Bushwhackers is a damn good uh, uh, Hall of Fame pick. Um, Stevie Breach. Check it out.